Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how we can implement filtering, sorting, and paging or filter, sort, and pagination in our ASP.NET Core Web API. So, here we are going to use Sheaf. Sheaf is a NuGet package and simple, clean, extensive framework for .NET Core that are sorting, filtering, and pagination functionality out of the box. So, for I have tested this one with .NET Core 5.0, 6.0, and 7.0. And now I am going to show you using Visual Studio 2022 and ASP.NET Core Web API 7.0. Guys, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification so that you will not miss my future videos. And if you ended up liking my videos, give me a like so that YouTube will know and it will promote my to the other viewers. So I'm using Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to create a new project. ASP.NET Core Web API. And let's say I'm keeping C. Okay. So C V J new get package which give out of the box filtering, sorting, and pagination. So I am using Swagger and controller. Let's create. I am using .NET 7.0 standard term support. Guys, after completion of this video session, I am going to keep this uh, this project source code in the Google Drive and give the link on the video description. Please check it out. You can download. So my application got created so let's hear uh, i'm going to add a model folder which is going to a product model so models and here i'm going to add a product model so a class so this will be a product model Inside this, I'm going to add few properties. Or listing name description. And now last one I'm keeping decimal, which will be price. Right. Now let's add our DB context. So I am for now I'm a local DB context. I am adding here. Adding a new folder. And for now I am keeping local DB context. Inside this folder, I'm adding one more class which will be product DB right inside this product db i am creating a list product data context which will be id some id which will be i am keeping one two three four right Right. and the name like mouse keyboard description and the price okay now you can see no issue found in the test case now go to the tools new get package manage new get package for solutions we can browse for sheaf we can install this one select the project click on install So it got installed. Now close this application, save the complete project. We have added our DB context, created our inline DB data, added the NuGet package, we have added our model, 
Now let's go to the program.cs file and here we need to add our register our service which is product db which is this one just we now created and one more thing is sieb processor sieb processor is belong to the nuget package sieb dot sieb service dot sieb processor okay now let's go to the controller section add one more controller we have which will be product controller I'm adding a API controller here. Right. Next thing is I'm going to declare two read only variable that is product DB read only and C processors. We just register. Right. Now we need to create a constructor of this you can initialize this constructor right now let's create our api so we no need the route here we will create our own api inside this which will be get product right so we are writing like this okay but to determine this like this we need to go to product model here we need to add our which call data annotation inside this can filter true comma can sort equal to true same thing i'm going to declare for my price right so these are two data annotation properties i declare now let's come back to controller here we are going to fetch our record this api is a http get api now i'm going to write like bar product or db db is my db context product data context edge queryable product c processor and this one so here we can write like this from query save model equal as model so we are going to post a c model and it will go into like db dot pro data contest edge queryable again products equal to c processor dot apply dot model dot products so this product is our data contest edge queryable value right now run the application and see how the sorting filtering and pagination is working guys to create this kind of video it takes time to do r d and do some research so sometimes i am unable to post videos so don't get frustrated on that so we got our application run and we can see we have all the filters sort patch just click on try it out click on execute so you can see all this data is coming right so i want to search as a name 
so here in filter section i can kick name or the rate speaker click on execute so you can see only one speaker is coming so if i keep name or the rate mouse and execute it's case sensitive let's try it okay now i no need of any filter but then execute i want to do some kind of sorting so you can see all the values are sorted by price again i can do pagination i want to do page one and page size will be three so execute so you can see mouse keyboard speaker page two cpu headphone desktop so again if i keep page size as one page size five so you can five record is coming so in this way we can implement our sieve nimcat package in our dotnet core web api guys i hope you like this session if you do give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much